hello people welcome to my youtube channel in this video we're going to discuss a very important tool of welcome designer by using we can apply design rules on the schematic itself so here like i've applied the width custain on ground and the power nets but before that if you guys want to earn a five dollar discount coupon right now just follow the procedure what you guys need to do just go to the description of this video and there will find a link uh, free five dollar registration link and you have to just left click on that link it will direct you to next pcb website there you have to register yourself with your official mail id and sign up for uh, the next pcb.com and there you will find a coupon under my coupon section which will give you a five dollar flat discount on your any pcb you order so now I'm going to demonstrate how you can apply the schematic rules. But before going further, as you can see here, there's no rules on this schematic. And I'll just go to a demo PCB that I've created. And here I'm just going to route a trace on ground pad. And as you can see, the trace width is 10 mil right now, right? If I'll increase it to 20 mil, it will show error. Why it is showing error? Because in design rules, in the width section, you can see the maximum width is 10 mil right so if i change here it will change for every track so that is the issue that's why i'm going to show you how you can apply design rules on particular nets and uh, so like all the nets will be like as it is right so open the schematic page right click on the parameter and there you have to select the parameter set place it on the ground tab ground net and just name it as uh, the ground rule and here you can see there is no parameter no rule no no classes so i'm just going to add a rule here so you have all the rules that can that you can add on your schematic sheet so i'm just going to select the width rule width constraint and okay here you can see the same window that's that uh, we can see on design rules so here I, i'm just going to change it to 30 mil and the preferred width will be 20. as you can see it is changed for top and bottom layer now i'm going to press ok save the project go to the pcb and now design left click on import changes so as you can see this is the rule that we're going to import execute change now we'll change now we'll place the route again so as you can see it is 10 mil but if i'll increase the thickness of this wire it is increased and there is no error so now we'll have a look on design rules again and in the rule section you can see there is already a rule created it is the same rule that we have created on the schematic so you can do the same thing for any signal or any power tracks or if you are uh, you, you can also apply the clearance constraint on the schematic so like if someone will read your schematic he can able to understand this particular net has this constraint right so thank you guys